Hey guys, this is Jen from Skin and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, I just did a really short video for uh, one of the members on how to trace in a color image right here. <clears throat> because she wanted a single layer, um, but she was using Canvas and didn't or wanted to know how to break it apart. Um, so I did the video in Canvas. If you want to check that out, go for it. And you can kind of see the lengthy process. You put single color in here don't ever use color layers it just is too much of a pain in the rumpus um, use single color what your colors are if you don't remember you can either pop up your uh, picture there or I'll show you another way once we exit out of the screen okay so you can double click one two choose a color in the image right here okay so there I've chosen white update preview it's going to line in red okay so I'm going to prompt to continue tracing because I am in scal 5 okay if I was in shortcuts a lot four, this wouldn't be available I'd hit OK that would place my trace I'd come back up keep hitting trace that's all you need to do that is the only difference I'm not changing anything here I'm not doing any of this this is the exact th same thing in shortcuts a lot four as well okay not doing anything different as I would in shortcuts a lot four except the prompt to continue tracing because I'm too lazy to go up and continue my computer is yes I want to continue tracing I'm going to grab my next color so I'm double clicking I just clicked on the black update preview I'm looking for full clean outlines that looks good I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna click yes what other color do I have that is correct yellow update preview that looks good so I'm gonna click OK no I have all three of them okay so right now I'm gonna hit 11 that brought it down Okay, so let's peel these apart. This is a benefit of utilizing shortcuts a lot. All I needed to do was trace, object, ungroup. This is what it gives me. It gives me absolutely everything I need in one. And I got to pull this out here. And then you run the line if you want to, but you don't need to because it makes no difference. It'll literally take you, without talking and doing education, maybe two minutes and then resizing it. That is everything you need right there. Okay? So that is how you will take a full PNG image file, bring it into Shortcuts a lot via a trace, a single color trace. Click your prompt to continue if you have shortcuts a lot five if you don't don't worry about it hit OK go back up and keep clicking the trace button and going after the color that you have okay there's the video that I just did in canvas but it is a whole lot more work utilizing canvas than it is utilizing shortcuts a lot and in shortcuts a lot you just seen it's literally two minutes um, in or in uh, canvas it took seven minutes and ten seconds in here it took less than two minutes because I was actually looking at the timer alright guys if you have any questions on how to uh, get a full image that is actually separated because here as you see there is nothing laying under each layer it is fully separate okay so you can do a single layer HTV with three colors four colors five colors six whatever you want um, you just do that single color trace and you're good to go. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Okay, for those of you, I almost forgot this. Sorry. Place image is how you can actually bring in your image so that you can have it laying right here if you need to see what it looks like um, so that you're not like me and thinking, oh, man, what am I going to do? And you don't want to keep toggling back and forth. It will be here at all times. Um, understand it's a place image so here's the preview it will not show up as your cut lines okay it only comes in as a printable all right okay so that's it now have a good day